Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you're a new subscriber, welcome. My name is Tina Udensi. I'm a YouTuber based here in Lagos, Nigeria. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my video. Before we get started guys, let me please beg you to please subscribe, click the notification bell as well so you're notified when next I put out another content. Like this video if you're enjoying it and please comment, share so that everyone knows my channel okay into this today's video i'm going to be doing a back history about my micro bleeding i don't know if you can see i got my brow micro sometime in january and it's been i think about 14 days or 15 days thereabout since i got my brows done and i'm just going to be showing you clips scenarios day to day of what my brows have looked like as i talk or as I go ahead. So first off, I did my brows at a place called St. Clair's. I'm going to put their Instagram handle in the description box and also on the screen. It's somewhere in Ikeja. My childhood sister located or referred me to them because that's where she got her own done, has done rather. If I'm being honest, I was very scared because <laughs> some people would do your microblading like this. You'll be looking very funny like very very funny actually when i wanted to do it somewhere on the island but the period that i had time to do this wasn't a lot has happened between december to january so there wasn't like i wasn't fiscally up to going to the island to get it done um let me explain what i did i did combo brows which consists of micro blading and micro shading right so I'm just going to look at my phone and read the difference between microblading and micro shading so that there's no mistake, right? So let me read microblading and this is exactly from the lady because I wanted to actually understand what the whole difference between micro shading, microblading, combo brows, blah blah blah. So I'll explain. Microblading is just hair-like strokes to give the illusion of fuller brows. So this is when like you see some people they just have like those hair like stroke and you are just like okay like as if they just drew hair I don't know or like it looks like their hair that's micro shading so you're just it just it looks very nice just like their hair very natural right while combo brow is a combination of micro blading and shading and then the shading like the front of my brows are micro bladed and then the shading part is when it now looks as if you drawn your eye your brows with pencil you know when it looks like okay you've taken time to sit and you've drawn your brows with pencil that's what combo brows so combo brows is a mixture of micro shading and uh, micro blading together that's why that's how you get combo brows people can do micro blading alone I don't know if you can do micro shading alone. I don't know how that will look, but I know you can do micro blading alone if you just want the hair like effect so that your brows look fuller, then you can do that. But if you want to it to look as if you have like your brows done, then you go for the combo brows known as or micro shading. So I wanted to explain that that's what micro that's what I did. I did combo brows which is a combination of micro shading and micro blading so i paid to the lady i gave her a down payment and then i went in i had an appointment for 11 i believe or 10 and i went in there the environment is very nice like i said i'm going to be putting pictures videos so that you can see the environment was is of is or was very nice i got in there was someone who attended to me I told them the time for my appointment and then we went in, prepped, sterilized the equipment that they were going to use for the service, right? And then the first thing when I got in there was that I sat and then she carved my brows. And I say she was very friendly and after carving my brows, she kind of drew, like she used something like a ruler, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll call it like a ruler, a measuring tape, like to measure the start point of your of my brows, the arc, and where the the tip or the end should be. So she measured here the starting point, 
the arc and where the tip should be so when she did that she gave me a mirror like i said to check i looked at it and it looked okay but sometimes you can't tell from all these things so she now proceeded after that to now actually draw it like when you're drawing your brows with a pencil right so she proceeded to do that and then she drew my brow she drew the brows and then she told me to look at it and that's something i like you have the option to look at it see if it's something that you like do you like the shape do you like the arc do you want it higher do you want it lower and this is the point where you can actually speak and no one is going to be stopping you like tell how what you want or tell them what you want that's the period when you can correct any error she drew mine and i liked it it was actually what i had in mind so when she showed me i was okay with it so she took her time in drawing it checking it to check if there's any error she would adjust she did a good job check taking her time to ensure that there was no error one wasn't higher than the other or any of sorts right and when we finished with that the next thing was that she proceeded to numbing my brows and now she applied numbing cream this numbing cream because microblading you already know that they're using blade machines and everything to do your face so they need to numb that area your brow so that you don't feel the pain that's just basically what um, numbing cream does so she numbed my face and i think i had to wait for about 45 minutes or thereabouts i think and then after that i proceeded to the bed as you can see and on the bed was when she first of all now started out with micro blading that's the effect of creating like hairline strokes and um, brows that are fuller she did the micro blading first when she was done with the micro braiding, she took it eye turn by turn, like you do this one eye first before she moved to this other eye. And after the micro blading, we proceeded to the micro shading. All of those parts are like the easiest part. And then when we finished, it was nice. I loved it and I left, right? So this is what it takes when it's, you're doing the process. It's, it's not even, I don't even know if it's up to an hour. Maybe let's say an hour marks right so i finished with that and i left i paid my balance in case you're wondering i think mine cost i did everything for 60k and when i was done with that um i left i got home when you first of all do your micro bleeding or combo brows or whatever or micro shading as the case is right it looks very pronounced and i'm leaving an image or you can see the video right it looks very pronounced like you can see it and you can say oh someone can actually say oh you did something to your face right but then the thing is after a while it starts to wear out so day one day two you still have your brows right it still looks pink the way you did it so like i said this is day one this is the morning um so i'll come back in the evening i'll show you what it looks like up until day seven which is like a week so we'll do like see the brows for a week and then i'll by then you'll see this video but i'll show you the process as we go every day but yeah so like i promised i'm here to show you what the brows look like um this is day two and the time is around two six today is sunday so this is a close-up of what the brows is looking like uh, i think it's getting darker and i can see like this front part is is fading out i don't know but yeah this is what day two with the brows look like good evening guys and welcome this is day three of my brows update so i'm just going to come close so that you can see what it's looking like mm -hmm. so this is what the brows are looking like i thought they would have started peeling but i guess she said day five so maybe we need to wait till day five before you start seeing them 
peel hi guys good afternoon and hope you're having a great day um today is day four i believe if i'm still correct and i'm just going to come close i noticed that the brows have started peeling a little um so i'm just going to show you what it looks like i'm excited to see what the final outcome of those brows will look like but let me show you what it looks like I don't know if you can see here it's starting to like peel even here up here as well here it has peeled I don't know if this is showing it well but from day five it starts to peel from day five it starts to peel and then you're seeing like scales and everything hi guys welcome and today is day five and i'm here to give a brow update this is what the brow is looking like it's going to peel a lot i'm just worried that um this is it i know they say it will fade blah 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 because i'm like if here is already looking empty will i still like will i still see the brows i did Anyways, the process so I'm going to look at it, but this is what it is looking like now. Hi guys, um sorry if you can't hear me well. Um today is day six. Um I had my teeth extraction yesterday, so my mouth's still hot. But um this is what the brows are looking like. Um they are completely peeled at the end. I'm kind of worried about how they look i sent a message to the lady who did it for me and she said that's the healing process that it's normal so um i hope before i resume back to work next week that i have a, i have brows back honestly because yeah but yeah this hi guys good morning this is the I believe the seven or the yeah I think the seven. Um, today is Saturday anyway. I don't know which day it is like anymore. But I know I didn't give an update yesterday because I wasn't I wasn't myself at all. I think finally the whole deeds and the whole sickness and everything just came up, so I wasn't myself at all. I don't know if you can see my mouth. Yeah. Anyway, let me just give you the brow updates. I finally had my bath. Um, this one is day seven. I don't know, guys. Maybe it's still in the healing process. I can. I don't know. I don't know what I think at this point. But let me show you what it's looking like. I don't know. From afar, it almost feels like okay, maybe yes, you did something, but then again, I don't know. It's not looking like I did anything, guys. This is sixty k. <laughs> so I hope I haven't wasted sixty k because I'm not seeing anything. Hi guys, I haven't been showing you these brows like consistently. I think the last day I stopped was like day six or day seven, and then your girl fell ill again. This period. What sickness is using the eyes of my enemy to see? Hey, hey, hey. But we shall overcome. But today is day 11, and this is what the brows are looking like. I think we are getting there at this point. I like how it is subtle, but at the same time, I am thinking like maybe I want it a little bit darker or more pronounced, like the front side, for instance, right? I think I like the way this one is more than the way this one is. I don't know if I'm making sense. But looking at my face, you can obviously tell like I did something. Today is the 11. I don't know if it's going to get darker or something. But for today, this is what it looks like. And I don't have any complaints. Or maybe I want it a little bit more darker. Right. But yes, that's what we're looking like. And the skin is, is skinning for me, is glowing. Um, I've been trying something for my spots and I think it's, it's working.
one thing I'll say is that you're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to peel out the scales or the flakes or whatever it's called. You leave it, it's going to fall off on its own. Another thing is that you're not supposed to wash your face for seven days. To me, I feel like that was the hardest part because like I am a skincare lover. I am always worried about my face. Like my face also tends to react quickly like either i start breaking out so not washing my face thoroughly for seven days was difficult i had to like using towel to dab clean i couldn't wait for seven days to be over i'm telling you on the eighth day i literally went in to wash my face like so well i went in on my skincare because my face was already breaking out white head, black head, pimples, textured skin, it was just a lot. So that's something you need to know that you might not be able to wash your face for 7 days straight. Some people even say 14 days but she actually said 7 days. For 7 days I didn't wash my face, I only tried to clean my face. Another thing you should know that this process for your brows to be fully healed takes about 14 days or 21 days if i'm being honest um so your brows will go from being all pain to it starting to crack and then it starts to peel or scale or fall off and then it looks as if you don't have anything done like you'll be looking at it like Where's the money I just went to spend? Like, where's the micro? Literally, you'll be wondering, where's the micro lady? That's how you'll be. But then, give it time. After a while, it starts to darken up. Your color starts to return. You can now see, like, the micro blading. Presently, this is my micro bladed brows. Like, I don't have anything on. No, let me take my hair no pencil no nothing like this is purely a microbladed brows nothing has been done i haven't like i said i didn't put any pencil nothing and i don't know what you think but i personally like it i like the shape if i'm being honest i think i somehow like this brow better than this one but that's the good thing you have the I think within two months or something you can go in they can correct anything you don't like if you want it to be darker you can go now and then they'll make it like darker if you think it's too light so that's a period like a one month two months period when you can actually do that and with these brows you can always go back for touch up or something so it's not like it's cast in stone right so that was my experience with microblading um it was it isn't painful it is easy to do just go in get your brows done and wait the process like i said it takes 21 days so mine i that's why i don't put anything i'm just saying okay 21 days let's see if it gets any darker if it gets any lighter if i need to go in for like any other touch up or anything but like i said for now I love the way these brows are looking and yeah I, I don't have any complaint about my brows so that's my microblading story so let me know what you think thank you all so much so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and until I see you all another one I just wanted to tell you give you a back history of microblading what you should expect and everything and I hope you enjoyed this video if that's something you're looking at doing so i'll see you later bye